Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Asan of Asan Taylor Fashion and Design and I am here to share a finish with you. Yes, I did finish a project. So before I get into showing you what I finished, I want to take care of just a little bit of housekeeping. One, I want to thank all of my new subscribers and everyone that I've been having conversations with in the comments. It's, oh, the love. I love it. Thank you all again. I try to follow you all back if I can. If I miss your comment, please charge it to my mind and not my heart. I'm just trying to keep up with all of this social media. Second, I want to send a special prayers to Darren of Dizzy Stitcher. Just know that my heart and my prayers go out to you, brother, and I hope all is well. Okay, so now let's get into my finished. So for Mother's Day, I decided to make my sister something for Mother's Day. And she has a wall of crosses. So I decided to cross stitch her a cross to add to her collection. And here it is. Can you all see it? Wait, is that wait, is that upside down? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> it says faith. Faith. Ah, I'm excited. I'm excited. So it took me um, let's see. Seven hours to complete this. I didn't do it all in one sitting, which I realized, yes, I can do this in one sitting if I had one of those free weekends that it's a cross stitch weekend. I did three hours one day, three hours another day, and then one hour uh, for my final day just to finalize it. Now this pattern, um, let's see, it's called Faith by Design Modern Cross Stitch Art. I found her on Etsy and um, purchased the pattern. It was in my inbox in less than five minutes. And the only thing I had to do for this one was actually buy the um, the floss. And it's a DMC. I believe it's $45.50. If I'm not correct, when I upload this video, I will put the correct DMC floss in the, um, in the, in the description. And I only used maybe half of the floss. I don't even think I used that much. It's two over two on a 14 count Ada. I enjoy working with this 14 count Ada because I didn't need my glasses to see. It was, again, it was just a real easy stitch. The pattern was easy to follow. Um, you could choose to have it in the gray box or just the regular X's. Real simple, real simple. So I'm excited to go ahead and get this framed. And by the time I do my uploads and edits to this video, I've been, been and had this piece framed and I'll attach a picture of it to the end of this video. Okay? All right. So just a quick update. I've been cleaning and purging and I have... Uh, I'm moving out of my cookie can. <laughs> if you all, um, if this is your first time viewing my videos, I have all of my cross stitch projects in a cookie can. And because I'm cleaning and purging and finding little trinkets here and there, I've outgrown the cookie cans. So I'm looking for a second option to put my projects in. And I think I have one. But we'll see if that work or not. So my next video, I'll give you all an update on that. And I've really been thinking hard about how to keep my cross-stitch projects to a minimum. And I'm really thinking that one of my old, um, what did you call it? My carry cases from my sewing machines, the handle broke on one of them. So I think by the time I finish making my project bags, putting everything together and organizing, I think I just have everything placed in that old sewing machine carrying case and I could just kind of flip through my projects when I'm ready. It's just an idea 
if you have any ideas of what I should do, just leave a comment below and I'll follow up with it and see if it works in my mechanism. So before I leave this YouTube video, I have some happy mail that I want to share with you all. It's not really cross stitch related, but it's crafty related. <laughs> so I received, and I'll try to be careful with, well, I blocked it all out. So I received a subscription box from Crafty Diva Creations. And I was excited. And I will show you all what I received. Now, for those of you all who follow me or may know me personally, I love my afro. It's in a bun. So Crafty Diva Creations sent me a unapologetically dope shirt. Can you see it? <laughs> I love her and I want to see if I can get this on a cross stitch because I really want to cross stitch this and put this on my wall to add to my other... I think I'm going to make this entire wall just my Afro cross stitch or just Afro patterns. I, I, I kind of like this space. Okay, so on top of that, I also received some soap. And this soap, um, I actually purchased this soap from her at a pop-up shop. And it's a oatmeal shea butter soap. It lathers really well and it feels like silk on your skin. And before I leave, also in the comment section, I will leave her information. So if you're interested in a box, then you can contact her and purchase one. And even though this shirt has the African-American Afro girl on it, she does service. Oh, I held that up wrong. <laughs> um, she does have other options. For shirts, uh, she has the Caucasian lady with the messy bun and the, the Asian lady also with a messy bun. So she has different ones, but she knows I love the little Afro girls. So she tries to customize my boxes for me whenever I do order one. So I had, again, I had my soap. She's recently began to do affirmation keychains and she sent me one. Proud. I love it. And we have little different little affirmation stickers. If you all can see them. I love it. My planner is going to be full. Now the highlight of this um, was the magnets that go in your planner and they're all sewing tools <laughs> i love it i love it love it and then she sent me some little pouches um i think this one here is a scissor carrying case There's another Notions case. And here's the little pouch. So this box was actually a little special because it's Mother's Day and um, I am an aunt. I'm not a mother, but I am an aunt. So I'm, I was excited. I When I put in my order for my subscription box for May, she told me, don't worry about it. She'll send me something special. So shout out to Crafty Diva Creations for my May 2021 subscription box. I love it. And for everyone else who's interested, I'll be sure to go ahead and leave a link to her pages in the description after this video. So that's it for me for today. I hopefully will be back with you all soon. I'm still, again, rethinking what I want to do as far as organization. Again, as I purge, I'm still finding old cross-stitch projects that I worked on. And it's almost time for me to go back to work. Shout out to Mary Ashcraft. I love the idea 
she has a stitching project that she keeps at work. And with me getting ready to go back to work full time after the pandemic and my office is being safe, we I, I commute. So I think I'm going to need a project for my commute and to work and then something for me to work on while I'm at work during my breaks. So I'll look through some patterns that I've already purchased and I, I want to keep it small. I want to save my big ones for when I'm at home relaxing. And also Pam, Pam Crafty's Corner, I did see a uh, video from her a while back and I'm going to go back and revisit it where she did the PVC pipe um, lap stand. And I want to do that because I like the way that was able, she was able to pull it apart, fold it, and she's able to carry it with her when she's on the go. But my full cover samples, um, I'm rethinking them. Not that I'm not wanting to do them. I'm rethinking how I can do a setup where I can just look over at it one evening while I'm watching the news and I can stitch on it and have it readily available in a nice neat spot and I think that lap stand that she made may be suitable for the two full coverage pieces that I'm, I am currently working on. So I'll just keep you posted on that as I um, make progress on that. So until next time, bye and you all take care. Mm -hmm.